In this video, we'll explain how to calculate the altitude intercept on the site reduction form. To find our altitude intercept, we need to take the difference from our computed altitude, or HC, which we just calculated, and the observed altitude, or HO, from section 1. Look at the HO and HC on your site reduction form. The larger number goes in the first box, followed by the smaller number in the one beneath it. This will ensure that the difference will be a positive value. In our example, HO is greater than HC. We see in section 1 that we had calculated an HO of 26 degrees and 28.2 arc minutes, so we note this on the site reduction form. For HC, we simply note the value from number 12 which we see is 25 degrees and 52.4 arc minutes. Now, we simply subtract one from the other and write the difference, which should be a positive value. In our example, we see that HO is greater than HC, so subtracting HC from HO gives us a difference of 35.8 arc minutes for our intercept. Remember, one arc minute equals one nautical mile, and we use the scale in the center of our position plotting sheet to measure this distance. Our intercept is a measure in nautical miles along the line, or azimuth, that points to our celestial body's geographic position. The mnemonic HOMOTO reminds us that if HO is greater than HC, then the intercept is toward the celestial body. If HO is less than HC, then the intercept is away from the celestial body. We need to mark if our intercept is toward or away on the site reduction form. In our example, we see that HO is greater than HC, so we circle toward on the site reduction form. This concludes our video on altitude intercept. To test your understanding of what we covered in this video, click this link. It'll take you to a few questions designed to help you remember these concepts. Once you are comfortable with this material, you can move on to our next video on azimuth by clicking this link.